Welcome to America Reads Fun Learning Activities. We are college students who create learning activities for kids. Our fun activities are focused on reading, writing, and math. Thank you for joining us to learn today. Today, we have myself, Raymond Armijo, who will cover our topic for today, which will be solving multi-step word problems. So, a part of solving multi-step word problems is that we're going to be doing a few different things in order to solve these. So we're going to look at a few questions and then answer them using these strategies, including rounding, creating the equations, and then interpreting the remainders. So we're going to use all these, look at a few word problems, and then work through them together to get our answer. So with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at our first example. In a parking lot, there are 30 bikes and 10 cars. Each bike has two wheels and each car has four wheels. How many wheels in total are in the parking lot? Okay, let's take a moment and realize what this question is asking us. It's asking us how many wheels in total are in the parking lot. So, for our first step, we're gonna find out what we know about the wheels. And so, what we do know is that there are that each bike has two wheels and that each car has four wheels and including that there are also 30 bikes and 10 cars. Knowing this we are able to make an equation that will help us solve. So our equation will be 2b plus 4c equals t with b being the number of bikes, c the number of cars and t the total number of tires. So now, we just plug in what we know. So we know that there are 30 bikes, so that will mean B will equal 30. And we know that there are 10 cars, so that means that 10 C will equal B equal to 10. And now that we know these, we can plug them into our equation and get 2 times 30 plus 4 times 10 equals T, which is what we're trying to get, the total number of tires. And so step three is to simply just solve the equation that we just came up with. And we're gonna use PEMDAS on that. So when we look at PEMDAS, the first thing we have to do before we add is to multiply left to right. So we're gonna multiply two times 30 to get 60, and then we're gonna multiply four times 10 to get 40. And now that we have those values, we can use PEMDAS again and just add them up. 60 plus 40 equals 100. And step four, our final answer. So, for an equation last time we got 100. So that means T is gonna equal 100, meaning that there are 100 total tires in the parking lot. Not too bad, right? Great work. Alrighty, now that we've gone through the first problem, let's take a look at our next problem, which may be a little more complicated, but we'll figure it out together. Each baseball team has 9 players, and each football team has 11 players. At 5 schools, they have both a baseball and football team. At 3 schools, they only have a baseball team, and at 4 schools, they only have a football team. How many total players are there across the schools? So, again, let's take a moment. And step 1 will be to find out what we know. So, from reading the equation, we know that a baseball team has 9 players, and a football team has 11 players. And we also know what schools have what teams, with 5 schools having both of them, 3 schools having only the baseball, and 4 schools having only football. So from there we can create an equation, 9b plus 11f equals p, b being the number of baseball teams, f being the number of football teams, and p being the total number of players what we're looking for. So step two is to plug in what we know. We know that there are eight total baseball teams because there are five schools that have both and only three to have baseball. So if we add five and three, we'll get eight. 
and F equals 9 because there are 4 schools that only have a football team and 5 that have both. So add 5 and 4 gives us 9. Let's plug it in. We get 9 times 8 plus 11 times 9 to equal P, our total number of players. And so, step number 3. Let's solve that equation we just came up with. Our equation is 9 times 8 plus 11 times 9 equals P. We're going to use PEMDAS again and multiply the 2 from left to right. So 9 times 8 is going to give us 72 and 11 times 9 is going to give us 99. And now that we have those values, we're going to go ahead and add them. 72 plus 99 equals 171. And the step 4, our final answer. So we got 171 last step. So that means that is going to give us P equals 171, meaning that there are 171 total players from all the schools on all the football and baseball teams. Awesome job. Now that we have done that, I want you to go ahead and just take a moment and relax. It may have seemed quick, but it's not that bad, right? So today we talked about how to solve the multi-step problems by creating an equation and then using what we know to create that equation and then plugging in values from what we know from the equation again and then using different techniques to solve them, like PEMDAS. And wasn't that bad, was it? So, now, I want you to take a look at these three problems and try them out on your own. So, go ahead and pause the video, try them out on your own, and then come back. And if you need reference, go back and watch the video. Alright, I'd like to thank you for joining us to learn today. We hope you come back and learn some more. Please comment if you have any questions, like and subscribe to our channel, and we'll be back with more videos.